it's been a long time, as usual, since I last played this game. It's been so long since I last played this game that I had time to take a week-long holiday <laughs> in the Middle East. Which wasn't a good idea, because as soon as I got home again, I got the worst cold I think I've ever had, right? And it's still going. Uh, and I need to... I need to record episodes for just about every series I'm doing. So I'm going to start with Need for Speed. Because uh, I need to get myself warmed up for some street racing. Because I finally got around to ordering Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero uh, off Amazon again. And I ordered Kaido Racer 2 as well. Uh, which is Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero. But except this time with the Toge. So that's going to be good. That's going to be my little uh, Initial D simulator for a while. Uh, which I'm definitely going to end up playing on the channel. Probably soon. Uh, you know, as soon as I get a, a chance to switch over to that game, I will. I, mean, I want to play the Need for Speed games first, and I want to, you know, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll take a rain check on doing so many uh, rally games all the time. I don't know though. I'll, I'll have to check it out because like there's that that guy who like really wants to see Rally Sport Challenge and like I I want to finish Rally Sport Challenge now, uh, despite everything I said about it in like when I when I stopped doing it uh, when I dropped it just before I started playing uh, WRC two. You know, despite all that stuff, I still kind of want to finish it just because I don't want to. Kind of like the reason why. I finish every anime I pick up, most, pretty much all, every time. Like, despite how long it might take me to get around to finishing it, I'll always finish it. Just because that's my, that's what I do. I have to finish stuff. I feel like that might be uh, a symptom of a, a meme uh, mental illness, you know, that affects, there's a spectrum for it. It starts with an A, but, uh, I don't know. I, I usually finish stuff, so I might as well finish this. Yeah, I think the only thing that I'm happy with ever not finishing is games a lot of the time. But now that I've started this channel, now I want to now I want to restart. Now I want to finish uh, all the racing games I have. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get around to doing that. Just because Rally Sport Challenge is one of the first uh, games I started to play for the channel, it kind of sets a bad example if I don't finish it. Speaking of setting a bad example if I don't finish it, how about those uh, Gran Turismo 3s, huh? I'll get around to that as well. I gotta, I gotta play Gran Turismo Concept uh, Tokyo Geneva first, which I have now, which I've had for a while. So, so I'll, I need to, I need to finish that, and then when I finish that, then I can play Gran Turismo 3, because uh, that will give me a huge money boost, uh, so I can actually get stuff done on that game rather than pissing about and doing the Mazda MX-5 endurance race about five times. Which is, you know, a legit strat, but not my preferred. I'd rather be doing new stuff all the time. And saying that you'd rather be doing new stuff all the time, coming off the back and saying I want to finish all these old PS2 games, Maybe sounds a little bit weird, but I'll figure it out. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll figure it all out. Everything's going to be figured out. At some point, I'm going to finish every racing game made between '95 and 2020. Just you wait. I'm gonna. That's that's my ultimate life goal. Once I've done that, I can finally commit suicide. But I'm starting to want to feel. I'm starting to feel like maybe I want to commit suicide now. This is the worst track in the game. Okay. It might have been nearer when I started this game. I mentioned that some people thought uh, that this game was better than uh, Underground 2 because Underground 2 was open world and so in this game they could focus on making uh, track design better rather than just making world design. But I've completed Underground 2 twice and I can safely say, right, the Underground 2, despite having an open world and just having courses that are made up of that open world, I can definitely tell you that 
the tracks in Underground 2 are miles better than the majority of tracks in this game. In fact, I'd say all of. I'd say I'd say Underground 2 is an improvement on Underground 1, like all all round pretty much. Especially when it comes to having to do huge long races on this track, which is the worst track in the game. If the huge long races were on a track where stuff like that didn't keep happening, then, you know, I'd feel much happier about it, but they don't, so here we are. And that's why this is the worst track in the game. Because I keep hitting stuff, because I'm not a very good driver, that's why it's bad. I'm going to blame the track. That's, that, that's, this is an, an, it's an interesting variation on the usual uh, racing driver excuse, which is to blame the car. Because now what I'm doing is blaming the track, right? So that makes me original. And that means I'm allowed to make the racing driver excuse. But Need to Be Payback is out now. Uh, I'm not going to shill for it. I'm going to be real. It doesn't look that great. Uh, from the limited amount. Okay. J just. I'm still using that meme. Yeah, it needs to be payback. I don't know. I don't really like the look of it. To be honest. Oh, well, fuck you. How about that? Six minutes, and I haven't even done four laps. And that's a handbrake. Oh well, I can recover from that. I can recover from that. That's not so bad. It's like when I hit a wall, that's bad. Because at least in like, Underground 2, you bounce off the walls. What are you doing? I just got T-boned. And not even J-boned, like Ice-T's character from Johnny Mnemonic. I mean, full on T-boned. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty sick, so I can't have the usual really good, really exciting, really fun reactions to things that happen like I normally do, you know. I'm, I'm feeling less uh, Jacksepticeye than usual today. You know, I haven't even got my hair done in a fucking retarded haircut. This stupid colour. You know, that's a hot take, that was. I was thinking of starting a channel where I do hot takes or other stuff, like the, uh, the, the Jim Sterling's comment on... Com commentocracy videos I take uh, quite a lot of issue with usually you know I was thinking of starting a hot takes channel but uh, probably won't I'll probably just like think that stuff and then every so often watch a video where someone else disagrees with the commentocracy uh, and then I can be like yeah this yeah I'm not alone there are other people that think the same way I do I'm not a total contrarian. Outcast. I'm not a total outcast, because I'm I, I take pride in being a contrarian. It's being an outcast that That hitting that lamppost there, alright, was an advanced form of being Paul Walker. Because I was past the lamppost and then it reached out and grabbed me. So that's an, that's that, that was an advanced. Um, I'm I'm on a higher level than uh, Mr. Walker, as in the crisps. I mentioned uh, Johnny Mnemonic earlier, and I'm racing against a guy called Takahashi, which is funny because the Asian guy, one of the Asian guys in Johnny Mnemonic, is named Takahashi, and the, actually, the, the one Asian guy that's in it is my favorite Asian guy, uh, Japanese guy. There aren't, well, I mean, Jackie, Jackie Chan is, um, Chinese, so I guess, like, yeah, so my favorite, my favorite, uh, Japanese guy, uh, uh, he has a name, I'm gonna call him General Lee, because that's what he was named on, uh, Takeshi's Castle, uh, he was in Battle Royale as well, which is, which is a great film, I'm just gonna, I'm only gonna talk about things that I recommend you watch today. Uh, watch the the challenge 
the English version, the challenge version of um, Takeshi's Castle. Because that's TV. That's game show Kino. Unbelievable! Wait, the Super is there as well. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, watch Battle Royale. Obviously, subtitled. Never bother with dubs. I think it might have been Ghost in the Shell that I watched dubbed uh, the first time I saw it. And I haven't watched it properly since, but I should get around to doing it. Especially if I'm going to hate on the uh, Scarlett Johansson version without having seen it. I should probably, like, get educated on the original Ghost in the Shell. Even though I've seen it, I need to see it properly with the subtitles. This is the worst, worst, worst track in the game. This guy's in an Acura RSX, how is he beating me in a literal GTR Skyline? Fuck this! One last try and I'm gonna do something else. This is just... ridiculous. Is all I can say. Uh, what else was it? Johnny Mnemonic! Johnny Mnemonic is a bit of an acquired taste, uh, as a film. You know, you, you have to, you have to like... Uh, cyberpunk quite a lot uh, to really sort of get into Johnny Mnemonic in this day and age. Or like not at all and you just see it as a quirky 90s film, that's good. But I, I like it kind of like unironically. I think it's I think it's good. Like I can appreciate that it's very it's a very 90s film but like at the same time I really like it. Uh, also you have to sort of realize uh, the range that uh, Keanu Reeves had in the mid 90s was narrow. Ve very. I'm gonna go with narrow. I'm gonna say narrow uh, in terms of Keanu Reeves' mid 90s range. No, not not really range, but like I want to say I want to say skill, but like Point Break came out in like 91, didn't it? So like you can't lose skill and then like gain it again later on for the matrix and stuff i guess i don't know he was in a bit of a rut a bit of a dip he had a bit of a dip in quality in uh, the mid 90s with speed unbelievable unfucking believable how bad the hitboxes on these fucking items at the side of the track are if you're gonna make a game where i have to be like inches away from the <coughs> from the poles in a in the middle of a tunnel, you could at least make it so they don't, like, grab me. You know, while I'm not quite touching them. I hate this meme that they had of making the hitboxes too big instead of too small. Because if they'd have just made the hitboxes too small, like, 75.6 million percent of my problems would disappear. <coughs> <coughs> I did warn you I was ill. Uh, earlier on. I did, I did, I did bring it up. You know. I, I, I initially, I tried to make everyone jealous by saying I'd been on holiday to Turkey. And then, like, I reminded you, I, I, like, I tried to do that thing where I'm all... Okay, fuck. Fuck. Just, I was gonna, I was, but just fuck. Just. Fuck. Do a lap knockout instead. Because that's going to be so much easier. Actually, yeah, it will. Because instead of having the AI come back and take a shit on me at the end, all the AI will have been eliminated already. So th this I can deal with. This is going to be fine. I'll tell you, what, I, tell you something I can't deal with, uh, apart from that race I was just in. But something that I can't deal with is... Uh, trying to buy Persona games. Right, I don't know if I've... Actually, yeah, I, I've definitely talked about this before. Uh, that time when I bought Persona 4 Arena, thinking it was a real game, and then it turned out to be uh, a fucking shit uh, 2D fighting game where I couldn't even get past the tutorials because they'd built it, they brought it onto the 
Xbox 360, that some of the controls just didn't work. And I know it's not my controller's fault, right? Because that controller is A-OK -okay fine. It was definitely the game not letting me do some of the moves to pass the tutorial levels. And I know that you don't have to do the tutorial levels to play the game, but I wanted to. So, you know, when I, when I can't do it, it's kind of, kind of a little bit bullshit. Um, so since then, well, the, for a while after that, I, I thought Persona was fucking total dog shit. And then I was looking through the the the, the online page for Sex, and I was trying to see what games they had because I wanted to play, wanted to buy a game uh, or two. I ended up getting I ended up getting like two thirds of the games that I aimed to get, and I ended up getting much more suicidal from the fucking garbage physics of this game. The crash physics, I mean. The driving physics, I've talked about this a lot before, but the driving physics of New Speed Underground and Underground 2 are really good. But as soon as you start to crash on Underground, the game shits itself. It's just unbelievably bad. But 90% of the time it's good. Actually no, less than 90% because you're crashing 50% of the time. So half the time underground feels really good and the other half the time is making me want to fucking die anyway back to talking about persona so i was scrolling through the the page and i saw that they had real persona 4 for sale uh for the ps2 and i thought fucking hell 25 quid for a ps2 game so i started i had, I had a look right i looked it up on the lines and uh it actually looks good it's not the kind of game i'd normally play but like it's got me interested enough uh, to shell out for it and give it a go, for sure. So I, I was going to do that. I picked up all my money, and uh, after school, I went into town. And when I got to, yeah, fucking get hit by a tram, lime green, limey cunt. Get it? Because limey is an insult for... English people, and I'm English, so that was like, that was a, that was a funny hot take. Um, something something Sona, something something, was gonna buy it. Uh, I get into town, I get into sex, I start looking for it. I start looking for my fucking noose. Um, I swear I'm not gonna make any progress in this fucking episode. I was gonna record one episode of every series I'm doing. Uh, but now I'm thinking I'm going to record a couple of episodes of Need for Speed today and then move on to doing other stuff when I'm healthy again next week. I'll do, um... I'll do the rallying thing. I'll do, I'll do, I'll finish Rally Sport Challenge or I'll do a couple of episodes of Rally Sport Challenge next week. Uh, and then I'll get back to doing TT Superbikes after that. And then, you know, I'll figure out from there. By the time this video comes out, Anyway, right, 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 I need to finish this story because I'm aiming to do some of this stuff that I'm talking about tomorrow. <coughs> and the next episode of this will be coming out uh, fucking the week after. So, yeah, I'm going to sort this out and get this uh, story finished. Um, yeah, so I, I got into town and I started looking for Persona 4 on the shelves, uh, but it had sold when I got there. And I was like, shit. So I bought a Smuggler's Run SSX3 and a Power Drone for the original Xbox instead. Like, SSX3 and Smuggler's Run I got for the PS2, but uh, Power Drone I bought for the original Xbox, obviously, because it's an exclusive. Uh, SSX3 I've had since I was a little kid, but earlier on this year, or it might have been last year, uh, my nan's dog chewed it up. So I finally got a new copy of that. Which I'm probably not going to play for the channel, but it's just a game that I like to play. Maybe I'll... I don't know. To be honest, I've definitely bitten off more than I can chew with trying to play all the car and bike racing games. And a couple of, like, hovercraft and that kind of thing games. So maybe I could fit a snowboarding game in there somewhere. Just once I have a lot more free time, really. Once I get out of education, I guess. Then I'll be able to do all kinds of stuff. But while I'm still... While I'm still in the learning facility, um, fuck you! Right, I'm gonna leave this here, but I'm, ju I'm just gonna finish the story. 
So yeah, I couldn't get Persona 4 because it's old, but there was Persona 3 sitting on the shelves, and Persona 3 is 60 quid, which I think is fucking ridiculous for a PS2 game, but I've, I've been looking at it, I've been looking it up, and I'm like, you know, I don't really want to order anything online, even though I order stuff, I ordered two games online just this week, uh, which were, you know, TXR Zero and Kaido Racer 2, but I don't, I kind of don't want to order uh, any Personas online, which, but I'll probably end up doing that. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna buy Persona 3, Persona 3 tomorrow for 60 quid because I can only find it online for like 100 plus, and that's fucking nuts. Like that's legit nuts. That's like what TT Superbikes Legends was when I first looked for it. But I think that's gone down now. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna be buying Persona 3, and maybe I'll play that on a different channel at some point or something. I don't know. I've just got to figure this stuff out, man. There's so much stuff I want to do. And like I don't, I know I don't have to, I don't have to let's play every game that I have, so I won't. I'll probably play some stuff. Anyway, uh, I'll figure it out. But I'm gonna be spending sixty quid on a PS2 game, and I wanted to let everyone know if they could call me a retard. And this video is gonna have come out after I've already done it, unless I get cucked again. I don't know. We'll see.